Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things will help us make more great videos for you. This video shows you an app for your Fire TV stick which tells you about the applications installed on it. It's quite handy because it tells you the app name, when it was last updated, the size, the amount of permissions that uh, it requires and much more. Here's how you get it. Grab your remote control, press the home button or the picture of the house on it so you're back to the main screen. Go to find, then down to search, middle button and then type in there app info manager and as you're typing it then you should see it appear in the suggestions once you see it go down highlight it middle button on the remote control and that is the icon that you're looking for that one there app info manager highlight it middle button then middle button again to get it now this bit might take a bit of time it really depends on the speed of your internet connection Hopefully shouldn't take too long. Once you see open, like I can see with mine, then middle button on the remote control and uh, let it open. So it's now loading the app list and it now gives you the privacy policy. Have a look at that. If you're happy with it, then uh, middle button on the remote control and there we go. So it gives us a list of all the apps that can be found on the Fire Stick. And we can go through any of these apps here, highlight it, middle button on the remote control. And as you can see, it tells us the app size, the date and the time that it was installed on and all of the permissions that it requires from the Fire TV stick to run there. Tells us about receivers and services as well, permissions that uh, it requires as well there. So you can just check it out and basically make sure that you're happy with all it's doing if you understand all that. You've also got an option there to open up the app and you've also got an option here to back up the app as well. So if I highlight back up the app, middle button on the remote control now, it's asking us to allow App Info Manager to access photos, media and files on your device. This is very important, you must allow it. If you don't allow it, then the backup simply won't work. So just gonna allow that. And if I go back into Backup APK, there you go. It's saved actually a copy onto the uh, the Fire TV stick, which then we can go into a file manager and then copy that across if we want to a USB stick to back up the app. As I say, we've got an option here to open the app. So highlight that middle button and there you go. It actually opens. If I press the back button, and if we go up to this icon in the top left hand corner, it switches to a different layout. There we go. So we get this layout showing all of the, uh, the, the dates that it was last updated, the name and the size of each app and the number of permissions that are required. And again, if we just go into any one of these, it gives us. We can also go up to sort there. So if I highlight that, we've got options to sort by name A to Z, name Z to A, size from smallest to largest or size from largest to smallest and also from permissions, the largest number of permissions each app. So we can sort in those as well. And there we can also search apps as well. So we just go down into search apps, middle button, type in the name of the app or part of the name we, of the app we want to search for. And as you can see, as I'm typing it, it's just in the background, it's sort of whittling down the number of apps that uh, are available. So uh, I've just started to type total, back button on the remote control, and there you go, it's just whittled it down to total commander. And I can see that app's details. So there we go, a great little app to look at the apps installed on your Fire TV stick. How big they are, what permissions they need, when they were last installed, and also give you the option to back them up to a place on the uh, Fire TV stick. That's handy if you want to uninstall the app and reinstall that particular version without having to go to the store to get a new version. I hope you liked this video and if you did, hit that like button. If you think your friends, your family or your work colleagues might like it, then don't forget to share this on your social media timelines. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you find out about all my latest videos the second they're released. Hit that subscribe button, then hit the bell, then hit all.
You can also find me on Twitter at CWTech and also find my website at cwtech.co.uk. Liking, sharing and subscribing really helps support this channel. Thank you very much.